we're going to start start a site from scratch, right? So let's open up a new tab. And we're going to go to squarespace.com. Again, you might already have a site. Maybe it's on Squarespace. If it is, that's great. You can grab some coffee and come back in five minutes. Um, if not, let's do this. I mean, you really have nothing to lose. You don't have to put a credit card in or anything. You are, it's just ready to go. Right corner, click create a site. And what we're going to do is I have my personal website, which is nickoroko.com. You've probably seen it if you're here right now. Uh, just redesigned it. We're going to build this thing from scratch. So I'm going to show you how I built this by building it again. Um, there's a couple fancy things like like this uh, this ticker here. I'm not going to show you how to do that because that'll go into some advanced stuff. But we're going to build the basic thing, flesh it out. And hopefully you can apply that to your own website. And I can answer your questions along the road. Cool. Come back to that. Okay, so you start with Squarespace and it brings you to this. It says, pick a template. You'll see that Squarespace has all these amazing templates that are really, really beautiful. Squarespace, I think, started for photographers. And so you're going to see that it's very photography driven. And that's important when you have your own website. If you don't have good pictures, you don't have a good website. So we'll talk about how to find good pictures if you don't have any. There's a lot of resources out there to get um, stock content for free. Or if you want to pay for it, you can get even better stock content. So we have all these templates, right? Um, you might be a little overwhelmed if this is your first time seeing this and you're like, how do I pick? I would recommend just kind of going through them. You can, instead of starting with it, you can preview it. Like, okay, I have a couple, like Joe I know is watching. He's a graphic designer and he wants to showcase his portfolio. So this is a cool one for that. It's called Jones. You can click preview and then it'll show you a preview of the website and it'll show you kind of what you're working with, with the design and the layout. This is cool for graphic designers. It's all set up. You really just drag and drop your stuff. I love this like full screen uh, grid. And then you hover over it and it says the name of the project. Let's just see the rest of the homepage, right? So then you click that project itself. It brings up a project page. I started with this one, but I didn't have enough like picture content. Uh, so I, I did something else. I think it's really cool though. If you have really nice pictures of your work and mockups, this is a great way to do it. Then at the bottom, it shows like all your other uh, projects and stuff. Okay, so that's just one. Let's, I know there's a lot of people out there that are doing different stuff. So let me show you a couple that you might be interested in. Um, before we get into the one that I like. And you can also search. You can search for like restaurant. There's all these templates for restaurants. I really, this one's really good. This is a, uh, it's called Basil. It used to be called, I think a marquee. Um, this is the first one I used for my website. This is a great one because it's got parallax scrolling, all this good stuff. So let's check this one out real quick. All right. So this, uh, what, I, what I said, parallax scrolling, that's when the background, you can see the background image and the content right here move at different paces. And it looks kind of cool. It's like a 3D effect. That's very popular right now. It has this big index, right? You can click here and make a reservation. You can connect switch through Squarespace, which is super easy if you're a restaurateur. Anyways, that's one. Um, this is another really cool one that you, you don't have to be a restaurant to use this one. I use this for a writer, actually. Um, actually, I'm also using this for my buddy, Jesse, who's a guitar player. Um, you have three different, as many as you want. But then when you click one option, it brings up that page. Then you scroll down, you check out the content. And then when you get to the very bottom, it brings that homepage back up, which is really cool. So this is, if you, if you do a couple of different things, this is a good one to showcase those different things. This one's called Tremont. I'll show you one more and then we'll dive into the actual build. Let's see. Let's do one for like an e-commerce. Let's do an online store. So over here you can see online store. By the way, you don't need to have a template 
um, uh, what's going on? You don't need to have a template that is like an online store template per se. You can sell anything on any Squarespace template. So just pick one that you think looks good. And it's usually easier to pick an online store if you're really trying to make an online store. So let's look for one for Emily based on selling teas. This one's kind of cool, actually. This, this is like a, <laughs> it's called brine. Uh, it's a, I think it's kombucha or some sort of juice that they're selling in this. But actually, no, let's do this one. This one's really cool. These are all in the same family, by the way. The brine family is the newest or one of the newest um, templates out there. And they have a lot of different features. So I would recommend if you're going to do anything, pick something in the brine family if you want to do the new fancy stuff. So this one's really cool because it has that full screen parallax. If you have nice pictures for your products, that's a great way to go. You can see it looks like 3D. It's like floating in the background. They have this background image with text over the top, a product. You can add it to the cart. All right, you want to buy a couple of these. Quinoa and sea salt chocolate. The hell is that? Um, looks good, though. All right. Then you have your shopping cart up here. And this is this is a very standard layout of of a, like a, a checkout process in Squarespace. So you have your product here. You can get rid of one. You can change the content or change the quantity. You go to checkout. And this is the global checkout on Squarespace. This is what you're going to see on every site when you go to checkout. So you're going to have your customer type in your email. then you have your shipping info, which you can edit all this in the back end. And you also have like coupon codes. Once you get to the payment, I'm not going to drag you through that right now. Anyways, that's a good one, Emily. I'd recommend that one. I'd recommend batch or a brine for an online store for your, for your tea company. Uh, these are great too, though. Clay. I haven't worked with this one, but it's new jaunt. Anyways, just take your time to find a template that speaks to you. You know, the difference in the templates are where the navigation bar is. It's either at the top or on the left-hand side. That's a total preference thing. Um, you know, the the look and the layout out of the box, that's also a good one. Let's do this. I'm going to show you my favorite template, <clears throat> excuse me, that I use for all, like, at least a couple of my recent sites. It's called Hunter. All right, Hunter, let's start with Hunter. So when you pick a template, you just go start with that template. You can pick any one you want right now. Um, why don't you just pick Hunter for now so that we're looking at the same thing? And then I'll show you how to change the template uh, after we make the basic layout. 